Hi everyone, I'm Rob Watson, the module leader for Tech One Double O Two, Social Media Innovation. This is the eleventh um, overview of the lecture. Uh, that is the last one uh, before the end of term. Um, so we get a Christmas break after this one, which is really, I think, will be welcome. Um, <clears throat> what we've been covering over recent weeks is the idea of uh, mediation and the idea of technology and how technology affects our understanding of the mediated world that we, and the, the world that we live in, but also the idea that this process and this mediation process is social and it's something that we share between ourselves and we learn from each other about uh, one another in this uh, exchange and interaction uh, of different um, uh, uh, interests and different expressions of who we are, what we do, and uh, how we fit in with each other. So we've taken a very kind of broad view. We've looked at some uh, different media. And what I'm going to do today is kind of, uh, kind of, th th this is um, kind of a, a way of, if you like, um, using some parody, uh, you know, kind of online parody about the notion of identity. But it's, um, it's kind of, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through ideas about uh, the, the cult of the hipster uh, and the idea of I mean, which is which is you know we've passed peak hipster hipsterness now it's now something that's in the distant past there are still people walking around as if they were lumberjacks with beards and check shirts and things like that but uh, I think fashion sense has moved on it's a, maybe a generational thing is that we look back on it as I look back to my own experience of if you like the Britpop era in the late 90s or the, you know, the kind of happy house era in the late 80s, those kind of things. So we kind of, we see these moments and we interact in these moments. And just, I suppose the question is, uh, what is your moment? What is happening now? How do you account for the social experience and the mediated experience that you have uh, through music, through fashion, uh, through media identity uh, at the present? So we, the, the, the role of the hipster is really quite interested in this because it's kind of, became very popular uh, internationally and so it's something which wasn't confined to uh, one particular period or one particular um, location so it didn't come out of although there's kind of roots in this but it happened in New York as much as it happened in London as much as it happened in um, in, in, other, in other places in Australia that kind of thing so it was kind of fueled if you like by the rise of global globalized media by uh, social media and also by the uh, kind of music sensibilities and music tastes and things like the rise of the festival the music festival uh, and you know kind of people's engagement with uh, craft aesthetics so things like kind of craft beers and coffee shops uh, and you know re 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 retooling bicycles as, as kind of you know fixed gear bikes uh, which were completely stripped down with no brakes that kind of thing so we're going to look at that, the kind of cliches of hipsterness, I suppose. But the important thing about this is if we're trying to think about what a, a social media producer is like, uh, you know, what the production process is for social media, uh, then we need to look at the people. And we need to look at the people who are involved because it's people that make media. It's people that make things meaningful. So what basis are they doing this? So this is wrapped in with the kind of the, you know, the, the, the web 2.0, you know, the Apple Mac cult, the cult of Apple Macs, uh, all those kind of things, which kind of really kind of repositioned and provided a framework in which an expression of identity could travel and be interrelated uh, very broadly in a kind of global sense. So we'll, we'll look at this in some uh, detail, but we'll, we'll also consider this as a kind of within a framework of cultural understanding and particularly under subcultural understanding. And we'll look back at some of the kind of key ideas uh, about how subcultures form um, and put that in re relation to a kind of a postmodern take on identity, which is kind of about that idea that you can be anything that you want. You can recreate yourself. You can present yourself as, you know, kind of like a, you can change your identity and you can, uh, you, you know, you can change costumes and you can change the way you behave and you can change. So it's a kind of like I identity has become entertainment. So it's an, a notion that's called identitainment, uh, which I think is a great phrase. Um, 
and it's kind of the idea that what we're primarily focused on is not being an authentic person but being somebody who can play at being an authentic person so it's got that postmodern irony to it so it's not kind of as straightforward as an, you know uh, we're not looking for deep authentic essences of people we're looking for how well people perform as if they were a lumberjack uh, in distressed jeans uh, and a check shirt and with a big beard and a woolly hat. Uh, I don't think those things are fashionable anymore, though. Not certainly looking around the DMU campus, they seem to have definitely gone out of fashion. So it's the idea that identity is a performance and that what we offer to the world as individuals is so it, it's, it's what's called, there's a, a, a sociologist called Evan Goffman, he, he told, it's like a dramatic performance. It's what we present on the front of the stage uh, and what we don't allow people to see backstage. And life has increasingly become about that forward, pre forward stage presentation of ourselves through social media. So we, it's almost as if we don't have a, a, a hinterland, we don't have a backstage uh, uh, place where we can rest and be, be ourselves. We're always constantly performing for other people by the constant engagement with social media. Um, so that, yeah, it's, it's quite a fun, I hope it's quite a fun, uh, uh, quick tour of the hipster. Uh, there's some links to some programs listed, uh, which are related to this, which are listed on the DMU wiki. Uh, and the notes as ever have been posted up onto the DMU Commons wiki at wiki.our.dmu.ac.uk. Uh, just search for the Tech 1002 section and you'll find them there. But we'll see you at the lecture on Tuesday afternoon. That's when it is. Okay.